And Jeff, that goes to some of the points that you were making about on the listserv where almost looking at our, our, our primary consume, uh, consumer uh, being the, the primary care provider, or, or if we expand that just to the primary care system or the primary care team, and Patty, as you're saying, like being this expert to the entire team. Um, Jeff, thoughts on that? Because I, I know this is a really big thing that you're passionate about is just making sure the whole team, um, including the primary care provider, uh, can utilize us and has access to us in that expertise. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I think that uh, you know, from that standpoint, I mean, that's, that's, that's partly why the term consultant makes sense to me, you know, when we think about how we operate as BHCs, because the, the PCP and the team really is our, um, our primary customer. I mean, we're trying to um, help patients uh, by helping them to uh, take care of their patients better, right, and their, and their patient population. So, um, so, I mean, primary care providers are always going to see far more behavioral issues than, than we ever could as individual behavioral health providers in primary care. So if we can help primary care providers to, uh, you know, more efficiently, more effectively, what have you, manage the behavioral issues that patients present with, um, then, you know, that's likely to be a bigger bang for the buck than I could ever achieve alone as an individual behavioral health provider in the clinic. So, so yeah, I mean, to me, when, when I use that term consultant, it means that, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to just help the, the PCP and the team to take the best care possible of their patient population. But what it doesn't mean is that I'm disengaged or that, um, uh, I have kind of a distant relationship to the patient or to the uh, PCP, or that I'm kind of swooping in, you know, suggesting a couple of quick, uh, simplistic interventions for the PCP and the patient to do, and then leaving them on their own to implement these. I mean, that's, that is not at all what it means to be a consultant, you know, um, in my, in my book, um, uh, that's what it means to be maybe not a very effective consultant. I guess you could, you know, call that being a consultant, but probably not a very effective one. But the, cons the term consultant to me just, just means that, um, you know, it means that the PCP and the team are your primary customer. You're trying to help them and help patients through them. And I guess the other part of it that it means to me is that uh, it does describe how we follow up with patients in the sense that, you know, in contrast to a regular therapist who follows patients until they are, you know, in remission, um, at least that's what they plan to do anyway. Uh, as a consultant, you don't really plan to do that. The PCP can plan to do that, but your role is to help the PCP um, uh, until the patient starts making some nice changes and going in the right direction, has a good plan in place for keeping that going. And at that point, you as, as a consultant back out of the plan follow-up and the PCP just continues on reinforcing your, your plan in addition to whatever they're doing with the patient. And you can always be brought back into care as needed. Um, uh, you know, so that follow-up structure like that is also what it means to be a consultant. Um. And, 